Dragon Ball figure and setting him up into a pose. I'm not sure which pose I'll do yet. I'll take him out and have a play and figure things out. Um, I've had this for a while and back when I used to work at an office he was set up on flying Nimbus. Um, at my desk, but he's been in a box for a long time, so I thought I would set him up in an ASMR video and also simultaneously read out some Dragon Ball facts from the Dragon Ball wiki. Um, so if you like Dragon Ball, then this video is going to be excellent for you. Anyway, let's get started. different parts here. Let's read the fact. The Kamehameha was invented by Akira Toriyama's wife. Let's turn this up. I'm just going to fall over. I should have thought about this before starting recording. Events of the entire Margin Buu saga take place in a matter of only two days, between the dates of May 7th and May 8th, during age 774. 774. Right, let's take him out. He is little Goku from the original Dragon Ball series, so he still has his tail. here. See if I can take one out without making too much noise. We've got a happy face, an angry face, and uh, I don't know, a laughing, having fun face. Seems very vertical. There we go. I could have him hanging in a cheeky pose. He has an insane number of points of articulation on him, so he's very, very poseable. But, uh, yeah, I could have him surprising someone hanging down. There, he does kind of dip a bit. Anyway, we won't do that. Let's have another fact. The events of the entire Cell Saga 
take place in a matter of two weeks, from the date of May 12th to the date of May 26th, during the age 767. Um, okay, I think there's a stand in here. that I did at, when I originally had it set up, which is him flying on the Nimbus. I think I had um, this face when he was on it, um, but I might, I quite like these other faces and I've I've never used them. <laughs> so we've got this kind of spicy face here. I don't know if you can see it from that distance very well. Got lots of hands, lots and lots of hands. And when the cleaners came by, four-star Dragon Ball went missing constantly and I luckily I never lost it I always managed to find it on the floor under my desk or underneath my keyboard Vegeta Saga 
when the Freezer Saga all took place in the same year. Okay. Um, I'm terrible at multitasking, unfortunately, so that's not going to be great. So, if we're trying to read facts and set this up, which one goes where? The skinny one's going. Yes, they do. Okay. Let's set up Nimbus. First, and then we'll focus on what we're going to do with Goku second. Son Goku. Um, the Earth was destroyed twice within a 15 year period during the events of the series. Margin Buu destroyed it during Dragon Ball Z, and the use of the Black Star Dragon Balls destroyed it again during Dragon Ball GT. It's funny how unpopular Dragon Ball GT is, but it's canon. Um, yeah, flying through the sky. The cloud is... No, the cloud is good. It looks a bit clumsy in places, but it's... Uh, the, the bit where it looks clumsy is where Goku would sit. What if I have him standing up on it like he's surfing it? That would be cool. Let's just make sure that's on it. Okay. And we can focus on that. The connection between the two of them later. I'm going to use this tail. Um, what's another fact? Android 17 and 18 were originally human before Dr. Gero, Gero turned them into androids. Planet Vegeta, home of the Saiyan race after the Tuffles extermination had a gravity ten times higher than Earth's. If you weighed 68 kilograms on Earth, you would weigh 680 kilograms on planet Vegeta. Okay. Let's um, see. It's quite hard to get him holding the Dragon Ball. could do it in one hand. I kind of want him to be doing a peace sign. I thought that would be quite cool. But if he's doing a peace sign, he can't really hold his grampy's uh, four star. Can he hold it to his chest? He can really. Oh, he could be holding it kind of like a uh, kind of like a football. How much to his his shoulder? No, the shoulder's in place. All right, so. Let's twist this round here. Unfortunately, I'm sure, because this is so small, you're probably not really going to be able to see it very well. I'll get up close at the end so you can get a better view. Does this look weird? If it's like that, that doesn't look too weird, does it? That's okay. Um... Original manga, seven Cell Juniors and Cell himself. In the Dragon Ball Z anime, however, including the movies, he has directly killed a total of fifteen. Jeez. Oh, so he's got. Oh, we got. We've got just hands open. We've got these claw hands, which are great for a kamehameha or for holding the Dragon Ball. We've got We've got fists. We've got peace signs. We've got just the spread open hands. A straight hand. That could be like 
like a, a kind of martial arts pose with the straight hands. Or you could do some funny stuff. This is like a claw hand with the two fingers. That's like a tiger style claw hand. Staff wielding, staff wielding, fist fist. Let's take a piece, peace sign. Make sure I get the right hand. That's the wrong hand. This is the right hand. Just gonna have a piece sign. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to read about musicians. There are twelve gods of destruction in the Dragon Ball universe. Throughout the series of Dragon Ball, the anime, and Dragon Ball Z, several characters have been credited as demon kings. Oh, I think this is... is that broken? No, it's just incredible articulation. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Demon kings, including King Piccolo, Deborah, and in the filler, Shula. However, there is a differentiating factor of all their positions. King Piccolo is a king of the living plane. Shula is a king of the underworld. And Abura is the king of hell. There you go. I know. I don't know who Shura. I haven't won. I don't know who Shura is. This hand is actually not very... I don't know if I'm pushing it on well enough or if it's just a bit loose generally. Oh no, it popped on a bit there. Okay. I kind of want him to be doing like a kawaii thing, like. Oh, is that too stupid? Maybe that's just a bit too much. <laughs> I don't know. What's. Is there such a thing as too much? Um. Captain Ginyu, who's this? Who else is that? In the original manga, Chi Chi has blue hair and Bulma has purple hair. Who's in that? The anime, uh, Bulma is known, well known for her blue hair. This is looking a bit cheddar. Um, Shinjin are born from the kaiju tree on planet Kaishin. And when a kaiju tree grows a golden fruit, that means a Kaioshin is born. I don't know what any of that means. Hmm, I'm not really happy with this pose, I'm not going to lie. Not really feeling it. I'm kind of about to go to a great deal of effort to get him standing on this cloud and I don't even know if I like the bows particularly. Just because you can do so much with it and I feel like this is just a bit clumsy maybe. How much can this leg bend in? I think that's its uh, origin peak there. Peak flex. Can we twist the... Oh, we can twist the foot. Wow. Twist the foot as well. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. Let's look at another fact. The Latin American dub Chi Chi's name was remixed to milk because Chi Chi means breast in Mexico. This is a Dragon Ball fact. Staff Officer Black kills Commander Red when he learns that Commander Red's ambitions for getting the Dragon Balls 
is for personal gain, a wish to become taller, rather than advancing the Red Ribbon Army's ambition of world conquest. Master Roshi created the Kamehameha, and it took 50 years to master it, while Goku mastered the Kamehameha in one usage after witnessing Master Roshi extinguish the flames on Fire Mountain, which is the home of the Ox King. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit basic. I feel like I'm gonna switch this up. It doesn't look right to me. Maybe I'm just being too picky. It's okay. But I'm gonna change it. And his belt was upside down, I just noticed. Whoops. Anyway. Tien fought Nappa with one arm during the Saiyan Saga. Oh, this is a weird one. In Dragon Ball episode of Bardock, after Bardock confronts Freezer, Bardock doesn't die but instead awakens on planet Vegeta in the past, during a time before Saiyans even existed on planet Vegeta. Okay, and Bardock, I, that's Goku's biological father, I think. Unless he claimed to be and wasn't really. Unless that's not Bardock. No, maybe Bardock. I think... Maybe Bardock was his uncle or something like that. I can't. I, I can't remember. And let's get your arm the right way round. So we've got two little claw hands now, and we're gonna have his really happy face on. He's flying on a cloud. He should be happier than than this. All right. Due to Master Shen being named as Shen in the Funimation dub, the name of Shen, the character whose body Kami possessed, was changed to Hero. Hero's original name, Shen, is kept in the Blue Water dub of Dragon Ball. That was confusing to say. Oh, Frieza. Frieza has been the most frequently defeated villain. For a total of being defeated five times, including the movies and filler, he lost to Goku on Namek, was executed by Future Trunks, and was defeated by Picon in Dragon Ball Z. He also was sent back to hell by Gohan in Fusion Reborn and was frozen and smashed into pieces by Goku in Dragon Ball GT. You almost feel bad for him, but not quite. I might have his feet up like a little monkey. Is that weird? Mm, it is a little. Got his feet upwards is quite unnatural, but he is quite an unnatural fellow. I'm just wondering if I could actually completely cross his legs, or if this, that's maybe asking a little bit too much of the articulation. Because if it's just like that, it doesn't really seem worthwhile. It is kind of more natural. Can I maybe boom, do something? Give his little toes curled up together. That does look pretty chill. He does look quite chill there. Um, Grand Elder Guru 
is the only character to toy die to toy let's try again grand elder guru is the only character to die twice in the same year and during the same saga that sounds really specific i guess because characters just die so frequently in uh, dragon ball z not so much in dragon ball but no well, but dragon ball z is just like die wish him back die wish him back die wish him back okay so now i'm uh, taking these claw hands which are good for clasping the, the uh, dragon ball from either side i quite like that how it is actually god he looks so happy hey you happy i hope so the only thing it doesn't s oh well never mind that looks pretty rad let's just get his and kind of cradling the ball a bit better. Um, the names of Freezer's primary elites are puns derived from fruits, such as Zawan's name being a pun on the Japanese word for the pomelo fruit. Tudoria is the pun on the durian fruit, and Kui being a pun on the kiwi fruit and apple being the pun for the word apple yeah and everything is kind of food related in the naming process so that isn't surprising can i get this a little bit more i might have to redo the legs because i'm manhandling him a little bit here try and get it just right oh that's it that's the way i want to do it right that's good don't push it back back down there we go stay there can i rotate that so i can see the four stars might as well get specific with it and push you back into that comfy position i'm actually really happy with that i think i'll just i won't toy with it anymore i'm just quite happy with that right um what's this what's this fact What's this interesting fact? Super Boo has only one thumb and one large finger on each hand in the manga. But in the anime, he has normal human-like hands with four fingers and one thumb. Hmm. Interesting. I, I'm going to stop reading facts now because there's like hundreds and hundreds of them. And I don't want this video to be long because... I've checked my um, sorry there was a break in the recording uh, yeah I looked at um, the YouTube analytics and saw that the most that my videos get the longest period of time that my videos get watched for on average is um it's like uh, eight minutes i think it's eight minutes for non-subscribers and about 12 for subscribers and about 25 percent of my views are actually from my subscribers so 75 percent my views come from people who are not subscribed and on average they watch my videos for about eight minutes so there's really no point in me making long videos because no one's watching them so i mean i'd be fine to just make minute videos for me personally i can't imagine why you would ever want to waste your time on a 10 minute video i like you know 30 
20 minute, 40 minute videos where I can put it on and just uh, go to sleep. But I, I don't use ASMR to get tingles. I actually watch ASMR so that I can sleep at night. All right, I'm gonna move the camera and get a, give you a better view of Son Goku now. Because I realized he's uh, tiny. Okay, so this is uh, Son Goku flying on his little Nimbus cloud. Um, holding on to his Dragon Ball with his legs crossed. Just having a fantastic time flying through the sky. Um, let's see, I could bring him in closer, perhaps. See if this lens will focus at that distance. It's quite close. So there he is, happy as Larry, with his Dragon Ball, and his little tail popping over the back of Nimbus, and his staff on his back. a bit wider flying on the cloud. Well, that is going to be it from me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I realized the last two I didn't say anything in either. Well, one of them wasn't me and the other one I didn't say anything. So I thought I'd come back with a video with some whispers in it in case anybody was missing.